Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to everything there is to see, do, and experience right here in the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and the history of Texas never ceases to amaze me. This week, we take you to a fort in Coke County, Texas that's filled to the brim with artifacts from another time. But it's the grounds of this old fort and a man's passion to tell its story that make Fort Chadburn well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. Smack dab between San Angelo and Abilene sits a storied fort that's seen all sorts of history in the Lone Star State. Established in 1852 by the 8th U.S. Infantry, Fort Chadburn was only occupied by military forces for 15 years. But in that short amount of time, it gathered a great story. If you're transferred to Fort Chadburn in 1852 as a soldier, you're sitting in the middle of Comanche territory. Garland Richards knows this old post inside and out because he's been exploring it since he was a boy. I assumed that everyone had a fort in their backyard. Seriously, I did not know any different. To me, you had the dream childhood. You got to explore and find artifacts. And... No one has enjoyed Fort Chadburn more than me. Garland's great-great-great-grandfather, Thomas Oden, established a 150,000-acre ranch here in 1876. Got to realize that in, in 1876, there were no fences, and it was all open range, and this is where he chose to bring his family and utilize as the uh, ranching headquarters for his, for his cattle op operation. Different kind of people back then. I mean, they had some... Oh, they were tough. Yeah. Passed down through eight generations, Garland is now the caretaker of his own parcel that happens to feature this old fortification. A few years ago, he couldn't bear to watch it continue to fade from memory, so he decided to rebuild and reinforce Fort Chadburn. What is it that made you stay here and do this? A lot of people would say stupidity. This is not the, the brightest thing that I've ever done financially. In 1999, he founded the Fort Chadburn Foundation and funded this entire project privately. They told us that you, you uh, can't raise the funds needed to, to complete this project without governmental funding, and, and we did it. Hey, look guys, see how easy it is? <laughs> no, it's not easy. <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, no. I didn't say it was easy. <laughs> Each building on the property was painstakingly brought back to life. Wow, this is amazing. This is the ranch headquarters building. This was a double officer's quarters. This is where my great, great, great grandfather comes in and he chooses these two structures that are joined together and he raises 13 kids. It's amazing to reconstruct something like this because this had to be a massive project. I've been working on this for about 20 years. <laughs> During the renovations, artifacts were constantly being found. And even today, you can find things laying around all over the fort among the red velvet mites. Now, uh, we're in the Butterfield stage top. You've got pieces of, of hinges. You've got the, uh, this is a green, beer uh, bottle, you've got square nails. You are literally picking up artifacts off the ground. They are here. All the military and personal items Garland and his team have found can be seen just a few feet away from where they originated in the Fort Chadburn Visitor Center. There are about a million artifacts that, that have come from Fort Chadburn. This is uh, one of the uh, most historically significant, pristine, unmolested sites of any of the frontier forts in the United States. Since the fort has been privately owned all these years, Garland has been able to carefully catalog and display everything they've come across. And I do mean everything. A lot of the artifacts from Fort Chadburn are located in some of the uh, drawers. Wow. You All these drawers are filled with artifacts? All of these drawers are filled with artifacts Anything from cannonballs to musket balls. <laughs> this is amazing. Every single one of these drawers has things you found here. Yep. 
Perusing the preposterous amount of pieces that were actually found on the property is impressive. Anything that was dropped from 1852 to 1876, there's one of them in here. Coins, wedding rings, glasses, and all sorts of military memorabilia. Every little thing here helps tell the story of Fort Chadmer. And with the abundance of artifacts, it's a Texas-sized story. You'll go out there and you'll find other little pieces to the puzzle. And when you put enough pieces to the puzzle back together, all of a sudden you can see the whole picture. Seeing this incredible collection, hearing the stories, and exploring the fort is truly a treat for any Texan. But as an added bonus, Garland brought out the big guns, a replica mountain howitzer cannon. It's a nice gun. It's one heck of a toy. You want to go shoot? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Time to close out our adventure at Fort Chadburn with a bang. Ready? Fire! <laughs> oh, man. That's worth checking off the list. <laughs> <laughs>